Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan. Today uh, we're here at the uh, Air Museum in Pueblo, Colorado. You can see there's a big B-29 back here. These, are, these B-29s are pretty rare. I've never seen more than like two other museums around uh, that have them. Uh, the Air Force Museum in Ohio and at uh, uh, the one in Washington, D.C. Um, Smithsonian. The Smithsonian. And then there's this one here. This is like as close as you can get to a B-29. This is, this is an awesome museum. If you've never been to the Pueblo Air Museum, you've got to come here. Uh, but the reason we're here today is uh, we're getting ready for a rocket contest uh, that's going to be held on June 4 and 5, 2011, so it's just a couple months away right now. Uh, it's going to be held at the Pueblo uh, launch site, which is called the Hudson Ranch web, uh, launch site, and you can find the SCORE website. It's scoreonline.com, right? scoreonline.net. Uh, go there, and that will get you directions to that launch site. Um, what I wanted to go over w is uh, some of the events that we're going to have here so that you know what to expect. Because a lot of people are very afraid of competing because they don't want to feel like they're going to be at a disadvantage. And really competition is not about that. It's about improving your own skills. Um, so I'll go over the events and I've got one of each kind of rocket and I'll kind of go over the rules and what you can kind of expect. Uh, the first event is called spot landing. Now spot landing, you can use any rocket you want. And I've just got uh, kind of a generic uh, skill level one type rocket. And basically what's going to happen is there's going to be a spot on the launch field. And all you have to do is get your rocket to land as close to there as possible. So pretty much any rocket can, can be used. It's got to be the first flight of the day though. So the very first flight that morning, you're going to fly your spot landing. Um, you can use any engine. Um, okay, so now you kind of know the rules. I'm going to give you some tips. Um, one of the things, uh, the spot is measured from the tip of the nose to the spot. So the person that's closest wins. You want to fly low and slow. So here's kind of a, a rocket that's specifically designed for spot landing. It's short, it's squat, it's very draggy, so it's not going to go very high. And when you launch it, say if the spot is over there, we're going to launch it at an angle like this. Uh, it's got to be the, the maximum angle uh, is allowed in the NAR is 30 degrees. So 30 degrees from vertical, that's as far as you can go. And just kind of <laughs> just get it popped out. You just, just make sure your parachute comes out before you land. That's the only thing. It's got to be safe. If it, if, it, if it nose dies into the ground, you're going to be disqualified for an unsafe landing. So get it up, get the nose off. Parachute open, close to this pad as you can. Uh, this one was actually designed, um, the fins are actually canted. I don't know if you can see that on there. But what that does is it allows this rocket to spin. And by spinning, it's not going to weathercock as much. Uh, that's another little tip. Um, it also has rear ejection. So as it's going out, it's going to kick out the nose in the direction of the, uh, of the spot. And then it's got a parachute attached to the uh, core. So that's a rear ejection spot lander. This is specifically designed for it, but as I said, you can use any rocket you want. 